Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. We're going to do you and the other person, so you pick a side, whichever side is yours, and we're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Sagittarius in regards to somebody that they are dealing with? Now keep in mind that, you know, one side may be yours and the other may not, and then uh, this reading may or may not be for you. And again, this is for February, Sagittarius. What do we have? You know, what I just saw was the Eight of Cups reverse. This is somebody that's pretending to be happy. It's like they're not happy, but they're staying put. Staying put in the situation, refusing to move on, which is, means that there's lack of spiritual growth. Um, there could be lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth. There could be emotional weakness in the situation. You need to find the strength to move on, right? It feels like you want somebody wants to move on, but they don't have the strength to do so. And that's obviously going to go over there. So we're going to just keep shuffling. I'm going to put one over here. King of Wands. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Or this could be you on this side. This person is very... Um, He's thinking. We have somebody here that is thinking about taking action. Hasn't taken it yet. Um, not happy in the circumstances that they are in, but for some reason can't take action. Okay, because this is this is the I think this is the before tarot. It's like the universe has this passionate opportunity, but it's not being it's not being um, accepted. So we do have, a, and I feel like this is a masculine that is thinking. They're thinking about what they want. Right now, it's a period of thought, obviously. Um, what should I do? So this person is thinking about what they should do. Over here, there's loneliness. There's loneliness. There's fear of growing old alone. Um, somebody could be in a very controlling situation. Um antisocial this is an antisocial energy you could be dealing with somebody that's antisocial you know this person just doesn't have a lot of drive this person is kind of a loner i don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign you could be particularly a virgo doesn't have to be could be a Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn it feels like we have this person may be controlling we have somebody over here that maybe maybe in a situation just for, because it's something to have, something to hold. Um, there's a lack of value over here. You could this person on this side doesn't have a lot to offer. Really focuses more on their work and their or they don't focus on their work. It could be go either way. We have somebody here that needs to open up and they're having a hard time opening and opening up emotionally. This is somebody who's very closed off emotionally. Nine of Wands reversed. So we this is somebody who is extremely guarded, somebody that um is very distrustful. This person doesn't trust they are not awakened. We have an unawakened individual over here that is very materialistic. Um, this person refuses to compromise, has a chip on their shoulder, um, always wants their own way, sits on a really high horse. This person sits on a really, really high horse. Let's get some over here for this. This may be your side over here. Yeah, definitely thinking about what is happening. It's like right now there may still be some things are falling apart. It looks like things are falling apart within a relationship. And it's like there's another opportunity. This person is thinking about another opportunity, but there's still some feelings left for the person that they are dealing with. So it's like, I think this is your side, Sagittarius. I feel like you have this vision and you may have your eye on somebody else. This may be a better opportunity for you, but there's some feelings with whoever you are dealing with. It's probably this person. This person doesn't put in a lot of effort. It feels like they don't trust you. They may make you walk on eggshells at times. They may be a bully. You may be dealing with a bully. Um, Ten of Pentacles reversed. 
it, it feels like whoever this person is, they're only in it because of the roof or they're in it for the stability of it, but it's, they're, they're not in it for love. Whoever this person is, you know, maybe they're in it for financial reasons. Um, there's a lot of feuding going on with this person. I feel like you're not on the same page. This person is very, very, very materialistic and it's like they've, they just want to hold on for the fact that it's it looks good. You know, it looks like they are in a stable relationship. But it is coming to an end. I feel like this person is ready for a transition. They're ready for a change. But it feels like they don't have the strength to make the change. This person has a, you know, they're very much driven by what everybody has to say. And it's like they don't want to be alone. So I feel like whoever this side is, whoever you're dealing, I think this is who you're dealing with. It could be you, whoever you're dealing with is it's in this relationship because of the assets or the stability of it. You know, the fact that it's a relationship, but I honestly don't see any love here from this person on this side. We have some, it's, it's like this person knows this person sees. And I think that they see that this person doesn't love them, but they have feelings. It's like whoever is on this side, whether it, I think it may be you, you may have feelings for this person who isn't really reciprocating that much. Wow. Wow, the getting ready to speak up. I think Sagittarius, you are getting ready to speak up. It's like the the universe or God is offering you the opportunity to communicate how you are feeling. And I it looks to me like you're going to take it. Okay? It does. It does. It looks to me like you're going to take this opportunity to communicate. It's like you know that you need to. It's. I think that you want to. I think that the truth is, is that you're not happy here. You know, or whoever you're dealing with isn't fulfilling your needs. I think that there's some sadness around the fact that you have to uh, do what's right for you. And I think that you're about to take action. It's like you know that it's time. You know that it's time. I feel like you have been stuck for quite some time. Um, I think that you are definitely getting ready to unveil the truth. It's like I can't live in denial anymore. This is taking the blindfold off, accepting the truth, seeing the truth. It's like I know what I know what I have to do. So Sagittarius, I think you are getting ready to speak up. I think it's really close. I think that, that you have received the clarity after thinking about this for some time. I think that you are dealing with a person that isn't really solid. They are not they don't put any effort into the really the relationship. It's like they, maybe they don't have any value to add whoever this person is. You're dealing with uh, somebody who is, I mean, the Queen of Wands in reversed. You're dealing with somebody, it could be another another fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, who's just using you. This per And it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be anybody. It's like this person is holding on to this dead end because they don't want to be alone. That's it. It's just because they don't want to be alone. And they're stealing your energy. They are. They're stealing your energy. It's like they're stealing your mojo. They're taking whatever they can get from you because they don't. They can't take care of themselves. Um, this person right here is is weak. They're weak. They're revengeful. They're manipulative. They're controlling. Uh, melodramatic. Jealous. You are definitely dealing with a jealous individual here that really isn't stable in any way. It feels like this person is is just with you with you for what you can provide for them. It's like, yeah, you provide for them and that's if as long as you keep providing for them, they're going to take 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 from you. Um, but I do feel like they know that an ending is coming, but they aren't going to make the move. You're going to have to make the move. You're going to have to be the one that speaks up here. So I feel like um There's going to be a cut. Some, something is going to happen where there's some sort of uh, truth that comes out that is spoken. There's going to be, you know, somebody that is, is just like, you know what? It, I think it's time to split. I think it's time to go our own way. I think this has been thought out. It hasn't been. It's not like it's an impulsive decision. I think what this person over here has another option. 
It's like they know that they have another option and, and they have to speak up. Otherwise, they could lose this option. I mean, it's almost like time is of the essence here. Judgment, judgment reversed is uh, feeling guilty. It's time to move on from that bad choice. It's somebody's not listening to their intuition. It's like um, you may not want to answer to this person. That's why you've been avoiding the truth. And now it's time to, you know, speak the truth. You can't avoid it anymore. I feel like somebody's been hiding their true feelings over here. It's like this has been dying for some time. This person knows it too. It's like both people know that this relationship has been dying. Um, but because it's some sort of stability, it's hard, it's comfortable, right? It's, 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 it's like, it's almost like it's a slow death. You know what I mean? Um, it's comfortable, but this is lack of, this is a poor choice, making a poor choice to stay. Somebody has been making a poor choice to stay because perhaps they weren't clear. You know, they didn't have the clarity, but I think now you're starting to see things more clearly. And I think you're starting to see things more clearly because there's another option that seems more intriguing to you. It's like, you know, I really want that. I really want that other option. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with, um, is probably You know, this is somebody who is lazy. You got somebody that is lazy over here. They're not doing their part. They hide from responsibility. So you're dealing with somebody who doesn't accept responsibility. This person isn't going to make any moves at all. They're weak. They're very weak. They they know. They they know that this isn't going anywhere. They do. But they're just going to lay there and bleed, okay? They're going to lay there and and feel this pain because they don't want to be alone. You are with somebody that is with you just because they don't want to be alone. And I think that you know that, Sagittarius. But you may have these doubts. You may be doubting that you're making the right choice. You may have you may have doubts about yourself, whether you're really worthy. I do feel as though there's about to be a conversation, okay? And I think that you are probably going to be the one that initiates the conversation. This is not going in the right direction. The Six of Swords reversed. This is very troublesome. You've been in a place of... Uh, well, it's been rough. It's been really rough. And the only way to get to peace and harmony is to go. So I feel like you are going, going to take the offer. You're going to make the choice. You're, it's like it's time to speak up. So I feel like, Sagittarius, you are going to be speaking your mind because you're in a situation where there's it's just too uh, rough. There's, there's too many uh, rough patches. There's too much, too many waves. There's, it's just... You can, it's too, too, too pretend, okay? This is pretend. There's no love in either of these cards and either on either side. It's like this isn't love. It's not love. So I feel like Sagittarius that you are about to speak up. You are the, somebody is. That is the sort of truth. This is a wake up call. Somebody's about to get a wake up call because somebody's coming out of denial. They're taking the mask off and they're accepting what it is. It's like this isn't it's not love. And I've and I know there's something better. So I feel like in February you are going to be taking action. I think that right now you're thinking about it. You're getting ready to take action and something is going to happen. It's like you're going to receive some sort of epiphany. Okay, you're going to receive some sort of clarity that has been lacking. There is a lack of awareness now, but you're going to receive some sort of uh well, it's a, an epiphany. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to stay in this situation. I'm not going to stay here. I have to accept the truth that this isn't love. So, that's, you know, I think there's going to be some sort of truth. There's, this is heartache. It's, it's heartbreaking. Somebody's going to get their heart broken. 
Okay. And sometimes, and, and, and that hurts. That hurts. There's a separation that is coming. It is coming. Um, I feel like, and you notice that looks like a sperm to me. This separation leads to a new life. It need, leads to a new beginning. I think that what's going to happen is this person speaks the truth to whoever they're dealing with that they, that they're just, their heart isn't in it. And the other person, you know, may get hurt, will probably be hurt by it. But this is, this is the opportunity to birth something new. I think, I mean, these are the rods of love. I think that, and I think that there's a new passionate beginning here and you, it's, it's undeniable. I think that there's a passionate new beginning that you are headed towards, but you know, you know that you can't head in that direction until you end this situation with whoever it is that you are dealing with that isn't really going to do anything because this person is very weak. This person is very codependent. They're, they're not going to end it, even though they know it's going to end because you guys aren't on the same page. You're not on the same page. So I feel like, um, this person really doesn't want to be alone. So they're willing to deal with any sort of pain and staying in an unrequited love relationship. And you're going to have to be the strong one here because this person is not. This person, and they, maybe you came into their life to teach them self-worth, to teach them strength, you know, to teach them their value. Because this person doesn't know their value. They don't even know what love is. They deserve to be loved. And if you're not in love with them, then maybe, you know, you need, they, you're their catalyst to teach them to, you know, you deserve to be loved. Whatever the case is, I feel like there's going to be rapid movement here in February. Somebody is going to, it's like they get this sudden epiphany, you know, I have to speak the truth. I ha I want to move forward. I want to go in a new direction. I, you may be communicating with somebody new and you know, that's where you want to go. That's where you want, that's, that's where you, there's fertility. It's like you see another option that is more fertile and you have to take action. I think you've thought about it long enough and it's time. I do. I think it's time to go. I think it's time for you to honor your own truth. You've made a poor choice. You've made a poor judgment call and it's time to stand up for yourself. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think that you will be communicating some sort of truth that is going to move somebody in a new direction. Um, and I think that you're going to be headed towards somebody else, but somebody is going to get their heart broken. I think that you have been reluctant to speak up because you knew you were going to break this person's heart. But I feel like I need to let you know that this person really isn't emotionally invested either. They're not. They're not. There's no love in this on this side either. This is this person is holding on because they don't want to be alone. They keep repeating their same patterns over and over and over again. This person isn't going to change. It feels like this person is malicious. It feels like this person um, doesn't even mind being another woman. She doesn't know her value. This person. Um, You may have some good memories with this person. You may have known this person for a long time. And I, this person may have loved you in the past. But I think that they have gotten to the point where now they're just in it for the stability. They're just in it for the for the security of it. I don't think it's because of love. I think that some, this person or, or you or somebody is going to be reconnecting with somebody from their childhood. Okay. There's like a childhood romance here that could be blossoming. You know, somebody that you knew when you were a child. This is about children. It hasn't happened yet. Um, Empress reversed. The Empress reversed is somebody who doesn't take very good care of her children, doesn't take care, very good care of herself, doesn't know her value. We have somebody over here that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. Um, this person is selfish, it doesn't, um, isn't marriage material, isn't mother material. This person cheats, this person, um, involves herself in third party situations. This person, uh, doesn't know her value at all. Doesn't know her worth. Seriously, this person is, uh not healthy, doesn't offer a lot of tender loving care, 
is very me, 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 me. We got somebody over on this side that really isn't somebody that is meant for a long-term commitment because this person doesn't know their value. I'm sorry to say that. This person involves themselves in third-party situations because they need constant attention. You can't trust this person. You cannot trust this person. This person is very needy. We have a needy individual here that is high maintenance, very much high maintenance. So Sagittarius, I feel like in February you are going to be making a decision to go after something more valuable because whoever you are dealing with doesn't add value to your life. This person doesn't take care of you. They don't even take care of themselves. They may be they may have unhealthy habits, poor hygiene even, whoever this person is. This person doesn't know their worth, doesn't know their value. They don't take care of themselves. They can't take care of another person. I feel like the person on this side is going to experience an ending that is probably going to be caused by you. I think that you are going to make a choice to end it with this person who doesn't take good care of you. And I see you moving towards something more fertile. I see you communicating with somebody. I see you communicating with somebody and, and, uh, moving in that direction because you feel, you feel like, uh, that you don't want to let this pa opportunity pass up. You don't want to pass up this opportunity. So I think you're going to be communicating with somebody new, but you can't move forward into that until you get rid of this other person. So that's what I see. Good luck.